Good Saturday morning to you ladies and gentlemen. This is Rusty78609, alive and in color from Capitan, New Mexico on a cool morning. Hey Google, what's the temperature? She doesn't know. The current temperature in Capitan is 44 degrees. Actually, it's 40 even, but that's pretty close for you. But anyway, today is the first day of the rest of your life. Make it a good one. It's the day after yesterday, day before tomorrow. Right now, guys, it's April the 30th, so anything you wanted to get done in the month of April, like your tax return, <laughs> I hope you've got it done. But anyway, uh, yeah, uh, what else? Uh, been living in an RV a long time. Everybody knows that. This is a Class C motorhome for the new viewer that we get this year. <clears throat> hey Google, tell us a joke. Your nose can't be 12 inches long, or else it would be a foot. Weak, but not bad. Never worry about what you cannot change. Hmm, how about that one? Hey Google, what's the temperature in Ulaanbaatar, Mongolia? The current temperature in Ulaanbaatar, Mongolia, is 52 degrees. That's amazing. I, I doubt that that's correct. <laughs> but anyway, moving along to comments. Der Trixa. Prost, 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 kameraden. <laughs> I think that means, hey Google, what does kameraden mean in German? In German, that's verfaut. Anything else you want me to translate? Hey Google. Translate Kameraden from German to English. Übersetzen. Faul aus dem Deutschen ins Englische. Oh God. She's so far. She doesn't even know what day it is, man. Hey Google. Translate Kameraden from German to English. In German, that's verfault. No, see, she's what? picking up rotten. See, she, she, anyway, never mind. Thank you. I, I, thank you. I think it means comrade. <clears throat> anyway, thank you, dear Trixa. Lawrence Raybon, good morning. Good morning to you. Lady Macbeth, have you checked out the 15K Tesla homes? Yeah, I don't think they make them in the United States yet. They make them in Australia. Uh, but, uh, yeah, they're, uh, they're, they're self-contained uh, or what off-grid homes. Yeah, Gary Mayo, the watts on the Starlink is up to 130 somewhat of a power hog. <clears throat> I don't know about that. Well, you know, but I'll only have the, well, what it is, you've got a modem on the inside that plugs in, and of course there's a little electricity that runs out to the, to the thing outside that moves. <clears throat> but whenever I'm not using, I'll, I'll just turn it off, even though I'm not off grid. I, I got, I'm on the grid. Uh, Gary Mayo also says, Musk does not want you to be hopping around all over the place, the service is not portable. Gary, the, the service is portable now. Now, in the beginning it was not, but it is now. There's probably, I think they said there's 11,000 RVers using uh, the service and traveling around. <clears throat> JW says, I live in Canton, Texas, and I'm on the Starlink list. Glad you're getting yours soon. The only thing I wish was different is they ship FedEx not very reliable out here years ago FedEx was great now it's a toss-up if the package makes it without issue I hope you have good luck with yours no I do too and I haven't had very good luck with FedEx either uh, of course I don't do a lot of shipping or receiving from FedEx but uh, the only time I've ever had a package lost and this was the second time recently uh, is with FedEx, <clears throat> and it's both times it's been a smartphone. <clears throat> but be that as it may, yeah, they lost the Apple phone. They don't know where it is. They picked it up, and it went poof. Yeah, I hear you. It went poof right in somebody's pocket, but anyway, I did a factory reset before I shipped it, so we're okay there. The Dogman Chronicles, Jim, and uh, living in a van with his dog, says, thanks for the sanity session, Rusty. I sure enjoyed the bike stories. Hope you and the goat are having a fun weekend. Well, yeah, it's starting off okay. I mean, I'm, I'm awake. I'm here, and the goat's awake with one ear. Not bad, huh? Same person, Jim. He says, I'll be very interested to find out how it works for you, Starman. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the 
Starlink myself. I mean, Monday I'm getting a, or Tuesday, whenever, I'm supposed to get a, a Pixel 6. And the only thing I really want to use it for is the driving videos and maybe walking videos and uh, see how it works. And I'm going to show you how to do, see it doesn't have a 3.5 millimeter port on it for an external mic, you know, where you can put a wind mic thing on it. Uh, it only has a, it's just a blank deal there. It's just got the little bitty speaker hole up there. And uh, so I'm going to show you how to cover that without covering the camera. I'll, I'm, I've, I've invented something today or yesterday. And I'll show you. That'll be my noon video. Joe Frugal, the kids don't ride bikes anymore. They have electric gizmo and they that they just stand on. Well, that, that's true. I've seen a few of those here. Not many, but actually I've only seen one. <clears throat> Same person, our, our human dog, Rusty. Yeah, I did a good job, too. Uh, anyway, he's got another comment here. He says, home internet, $50, unlimited data, and 5G. So all my monthly regulars added up $250, utilities, insurance, and a tank of inflated gas. Yeah, sir, it's a blessing having a base camp. It's not 40 k and having a place near the doctor is handy when things go that way. Yeah, I hear you, man. I, I do. Thank you very much. This is Levi Stubbs. You'll soon have a ponytail, Rusty, the rate your hair is growing. Oh, I, I don't care. Uh, fine with me. I'm just glad I got some hair. <clears throat> Mahoney Magic. Rusty, I live in Kirkland and pay $14.99 a month for internet for my condo. Good for you, uh, Mahoney. Uh, if you can get a commission on this and endorse a good product, that would be huge. Uh, no, I, I, I didn't contact them. I'm not worried about that. I, I'm not real. You know, a lot of uh, YouTube creators are into that, you know, where they endorse products and have sponsors and stuff. And, you know, that's a good way to pick up some extra cash. I just don't want to fool with it, you know. I, I, I don't want to fool with it. If you want to support this channel other than just watching it, uh, just use the Amazon link. In the description of my videos, doesn't cost you a penny. <clears throat> Gary Mayo put a cover, put an RV cover on the New Mexico property tall enough to park your rig under and call it good. Uh, well, you know, I don't really need a cover, man. I don't. I don't need a cover. And I'm calling it good. You know, it's fine. This is just a home. It's a, this place, this RV I'm in, this Class C motorhome, is my home uh, completely. Even when I go back to Texas, I have a cover and a house. I don't live in the house. I do go on the patio and read books uh, and use the fan, the fan. Anyway, Dr. Theory, I was just in Capitan Easter weekend for my aunt's memorial. I have two aunts, one uncle, grandparents, well, it got the history here. Uh, the high school gym is named after his, his uh, Louis, uh, says his grandparents were buried in the Capitan Cemetery. My granddad was Lewis Cummings. The high school gym is named after him. <clears throat> he was principal. Both my dad and my uncle were state champs in hoops. Dad gave Smokey Bear his first milk. In one of your recent videos, you drove by my grandparents and uncle and aunt's old houses. Well, so you know a lot about Capitan, Dr. Theory. Thank you very much. Aaron K. Fun Beer 30, Rusty. Very sweet of you to gift that boy your bike. Yeah, well, you know, it, it wasn't going to be used. Uh, Van in Halen. <clears throat> he says Starlink prices will come down. We used to pay for long distance calls, even just a few miles away. Suddenly was the day to call family for reduced rates. Then the 90 calling cards showed up. Uh, and then AT&T a dime a minute now it's pretty much free to call anywhere there used to be no text messages then there then they were a quarter each then a nickel now they're free well you know as far as uh, the price is coming down on the Starlinks uh, it po it could I, I'm not uh, I'm not optimistic because I haven't seen uh, Elon Musk does not have a track record of lowering prices okay and, and his trend and see, he's always talked about a car, he's going to build a car for the masses. Uh, well, I, the masses I know can't afford $60,000, all right? And uh, 
So that's where that is. And he's raised the price on the Teslas uh, several times. <clears throat> of course, you know, I'm sure he's just passing through uh, the costs uh, that are going up for him, and that's business. But, you know, as far as a $20,000 all-electric car, uh, they're building them in China uh, for as low as 5000 but they're not building them in the USA. Texas lady, thanks, Rusty, my birthday today. Happy birthday, Texas lady. L LOL, another year younger. April 29th. A good day. Thumbs up. Thumbs up to you, Texas lady. Enjoy your birthday yesterday. <clears throat> WTBM123. Cool. Thank you. Kenny County Riches on Beer 30. Interesting. I can understand bicycle stories. Technology is another story. My sister has the, the that star thing in Angel Fire. They love it. Yeah, that area is poorly, really underserved. A star, yeah, Angel Fire, Eagle Nest. They don't have anything. Well, they got uh, Verizon, but it's 3G. Uh, anyway, 10 Little Indians on the Starlink. Give me a full self-driving car. I can drink and ride since there's no law against that so far. Uh, yeah, that I was wondering about that. You know, uh, I don't know how they could give you a, a DUI if you're not driving, you know, but I'm sure they could because the cities, see, if you get full self-driving cars, uh, on the highways, and they're, they're and they are not violating any laws, then the traffic ticket business for some of these cities is going to go to zero, and some of those depend on that to pay their police force. <clears throat> so yeah, it's going to be a change. It always change, guys. Always. Anyway, thank you, Ten Little Indians. This is Sam Buchanan on Beer Thirty. I got my first bike out of the trash. It was a J.C. Higgins with a big coil spring on the front tire. <laughs> Good for you, Sam. Get them where you find them, babe. <clears throat> Lawrence Cutting, <clears throat> Cutting, sitting here and having a having bourbon 30. I'm 75 years old and catching up to you on age, so don't slow down. I might run over you, LOL. Love your wisdom and outlook on life. I hope younger folks listen to you also. Louis, Louis Paparella says, as Satchel Page said, don't look back, something may be gaining on you. Yeah, that's true. <clears throat> Thank you, Lawrence and Lewis. Appreciate it. Linda Reffitt, or Refit, I get Reffitt, I think. A good for you, Rusty. Be alive. Enjoy your life. Yeah, exactly. It gives me something to look forward to, man. That's that's the big thing now for me is is having something to do and something to look forward to. You know, boom, boom. You know, Linda Shaw, love your outlook on life. Happy days. Happy days. That was a TV series. Scotty Thompson, cool video talk. Rusty, thank you, Scotty Thompson, the mass bowler from Wisconsin. D.E. Christie, nothing stupid about it. You do what you do when you want to in pursuit of adventure and happiness and beer. Do whatever brings you happy thoughts, amigo. I've noticed you seem happy most of the time. You enjoy it. Well, I do. I try to enjoy life. Of course, I'm human. You know, I've got, I'm like a, you know, our body rhythms are like a roller coaster. You know, it just, we go up and down and, uh, you know, and of course, you know, I, I have, you know, like, you know, I, it, it's a little bit frustrating that, you know, that FedEx has misplaced that package or who knows what happened to it. Maybe it got stolen. And now I've got FedEx calling me. And uh, and then, of course, Apple is going to want their money and they're just going to have to get it from, from FedEx or whatever. And then uh, I was going to get a pair of glasses from, uh, what's it called? Uh framesdirect.com. I think they're out of Austin, Texas. Well, they say they are. They're probably out of China. <clears throat> but anyway, uh, they, won't, they, they, they left me a message to give them a call. I gave them a call, and now they don't call back. <clears throat> so that's, you know, there are a little, I have frustrations too. Anyway, Kevin Arnold says, your video quality was much better with the Apple, Rusty. Yeah, it was. It did, no doubt. I agree with that. Alvin Masso, Great Beer 30. Uh, William Bell, good story. Uh, Glenn McNeely on Beer 30. Have a great weekend, sir. You too. And this is Mike Ellis. <clears throat> uh, if you return the phone to the carriers and they never get it back, they will charge you for it. You can file a claim with the shipper to sometimes get compensated. Uh, that's sort of true, but FedEx told me that I wouldn't be out of pocket a penny, and that was the lady that's handling my case. I don't know. I've got her name somewhere. They call they call them a case manager, 
and she said not to worry if it was lost uh, they file a case and pay Apple or whatever uh, Louis Paparella so John in Tucson took a flashlight to a gunfight yeah hmm yeah not too sharp huh? <laughs> yeah yeah now don't draw pull a knife on a guy with an Uzi okay that's not sharp either or don't have one of those little BB guns that looks like a 45 no have a 45 you know, Lulu 59 sweet story over the over the bike you gave away yeah well, well you know made the kid happy he was sitting there long faced until I gave him that bike and then all of a sudden he was a new human you know <laughs> and that's us that we're human that's the way it is woof you're doing a great job of doing you well I don't think anybody can do it any better thank you uh, drill sergeant my, t my parents were too poor to buy me a bike so my brother helped me look for discarded parts at empty houses and along the country road so piece by piece we found frames rim handlebar anyway uh, anyway worked on farms but anyway you basically got finally got you uh, a bike says I had no paint brush so I used chicken feathers well you know drill sorry we all had it a little different didn't we <clears throat> Yeah, you're right about the freedom a bicycle affords you. Yeah, that's what, that's a Johnny Cash song. The name of your bike was a 1950, 51, 52, whatever it was. <clears throat> and Mitt, sweet bike giveaway story. Yeah, it was. I, I You know, whenever you help somebody across the river, you can't help but be there yourself. You know what I mean? Bill Bird song, Starlink connects to your address where you connect doesn't connect anywhere else he says a holes sorry so you calling everybody assholes that disagrees with you bill is that your new life <clears throat> but be that as it may no they're they're actually pretty smart bill uh starlink uh can it can and is now mobile rvers that are traveling across the u.s are using them have been for a couple of months now so you need to get updated uh a holes way to go man why did you add that, Bill? I mean, that is so bad, man. You, you're usually pretty good. Nick Carrillo. Uh, oh, this one's got to go. Here's a Matilda. Well, it's it's probably not bad, but it's written in Spanish. And uh, it's something about pretty, uh, da, 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 cultural, and oh, no, no, de la, well, I'm not going to get rid of it. It's, well, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to delete it anyway, remove it. Here you go, Matilda. Here's a Spanish joke or Spanish something. That'll be one one uh, waffle with some strawberry stuff. <clears throat> she getting a little beefy. Uh, Republic flag down an up UPS truck. They will take it. Uh, I, I don't know about that. Dolores and Bruce. Great stories, Rusty. Have a great weekend. Thank you. Ellen Dowd. Thumbs up to you. Jack, I'll have to ask that UPS guy the next time he delivers a package if he'll do that. Because, yeah, they charge you $15 if they have to come, or excuse me, $11 if they come pick it up. <clears throat> Jack in Florida, I think Apple is overrated. I'm an Android man and have a cheap Samsung phone, costs $250, takes great pics and videos. If I could afford the newest Samsung, around $1,000, I would buy it. Better than Apple, just my opinion. Good luck with the Pickle 6. Pick Pickle. Pixel 6. Anyway, Sanborn S. Have you stopped at Bonita Lake on your way to Rodoso? It was a nice place to visit, as I remember, in 1999. And it might make a good driving video for your channel to post. Yeah, I, I know where it is. I, I've been there a few times. But no, I don't think I've ever done. Well, I, th I may have done one video of it a long time ago. But yeah, it's a good point. I, I may do another one. Thank you, Sanborn S. Angie. <clears throat> on beer 30 uh, we'll do two more and we'll shut her down here uh, Angie enjoy being me and watching you do you I enjoy your videos and Rusty if I could do as you I would be doing the same so hell yeah we can not take anything with us when we exit so do what you can and be do what so do what we can do and B, you are right. So, you're anyway. What? So right, my friend. I'm happy 
to see you be content. Yeah, well, I try to be. Anyway, thank you for your comment, Angie. She's got a long comment there. Last one here, Texas tourist, gin and tonic with a slice of lemon. <laughs> There's an old pro. But anyway, guys, from Capitan, New Mexico, on a cool day, uh, this is Rusty78609 saying, thumbs up. Carpe diem. Carpe diem means seize the day in Latin. Carpe diem, adios, bye-bye. Buy anything you want, anytime. But if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products in the description of all of my videos. Why? Because it doesn't cost you one penny. Just click on the link in the description. Go to Amazon and buy what you want. Anyway, drink plenty of water. Three or four quarts a day won't hurt you. It's good for you. It'll help you avoid gout, kidney stones, and it'll also help you lose weight because you'll be full of water and you will not want to eat so much as in snack. And the only way to lose weight and keep it off, and you know it and I know it, is eat less. Get a smaller plate. It'll help. <clears throat> what else? Uh, take deep breaths. Breathe in really deep, hold it for a few seconds, and then breathe out slowly. Why? Because that relieves stress, and relieving stress does what? Lowers your blood pressure. That's a fact. And is that good for you? Sure, do it several times a day. And then what else? Stretch, 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 stretch. Swivel, 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 walk, 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 pedal, pedal, pedal. Exercise your body once or twice a day, every single day. Why? because you'll feel better immediately and you may live longer healthier because of that one thing. And then, stand guard at the door of your mind. Do not let negative Nancy or negative Ned get inside of your head. This is your head, your brain, your frontal lobes, your consciousness. All those little neurons in there are forming neural links, which is every single thought you have. So, common sense says, add good ingredients. Problem solved, right? Yeah, don't watch the news. Your choice, but I say don't. Why? Because it's all negativity, man. Propaganda and negativity, that's it. Anyway, guys, <clears throat> oh, accentuate the positive, eliminate the negative, enjoy your life one day or one moment at a time, at ease, carry on, adios, bye-bye, hasta luego, vaya, con Dios, aloha, until the noon video, which will be a super invention you're going to be very impressed with. Carry on, guys. Enjoy your weekend. Bye-bye.